Awesome. So enough of the theory. Let's go ahead and get into practice. So I got my Visual Studio here open, Visual Studio 2015 for me, and I am actually going to create a new project. I'm going to do a class library, okay? I'm going to name it Class Library 2 for our demonstration purposes. Like I told you guys, the code is also on GitHub, so you can get it there. This will just be an example. So here's Class Library 2. It's a type of Class Library. I'm going to call it Class Library 2. Yeah, I don't really care. And then I'm going to put it here in CTEMP. That looks great to me. No, I don't want to save changes to my current solution that I was just working on. Okay, awesome. So now we got our Class Library 2 open. And the next steps that we need to do is, of course, download our NuGet packages. So I'm going to come over here into References, Manage NuGet packages, and I'm going to search selenium web driver and of course don't forget to select nuget.org here before i had selected microsoft and .net, nuget org, and we want selenium web driver and selenium web driver support you guys can see check out the latest version right here at the time is 2.52 now when you're watching this of course it may be a completely different version so a lot of times we run into issues where the version and the browsers don't necessarily match up and then we get into some weird issues. So just keep that in mind that if you're running into issues throughout this tutorial, it's probably because something is up with your version of Selenium WebDriver and your version of a browser. But so I'm going to install Selenium support first and that's actually gonna automatically install Selenium WebDriver which for me is awesome because rather than doing two clicks of installations, I just do one click. I mean, it's something small, but I'm all about being as efficient as possible and everything. So you can see both of those got installed at the same time. Now, while we're here, we also need another NuGet package, which is called NUnit. NUnit is a very popular open source test runner. It runs our, our C-sharp tests and we use it to just execute those tests. So I am going to install this NUnit version right here, 3.2.0. Again, same thing for you guys watching this, you may be seeing a different version here and I'm sure you will be if you're watching this in the future. Obviously it's not possible that you're watching this in the past. So install this version. I believe that version 3.0 of NUnit just recently introduced parallelization, which is what we're going to be using to run our tests in parallel. So I'm going to install that. Before, I don't think it was actually even possible to run NUnit tests in parallel. You had to use MBUnit, which is a piece of something that not many people use. 